you guys have been asking for this forever and finally i came out with it super simple easy keto ice cream recipe this is vanilla and there's no eggs and it's really easy there's just a few minimal ingredients just like five ingredients in this little cone oh and this sh cone's sugar-free too i'll tell you how to get it later on in this video today we're making keto ice cream holding off on doing this recipe for a while just because I want to make sure it's going to be easy that everybody can do it. I like making ice cream, but a lot of times there's a lot of recipes that involve eggs in it. And for one, some people are allergic to eggs Two, You have to make like a custard out of it. And it can be hard to do like to get that at the right temperature and it involves a thermometer. Or if you cook your eggs too long, they curdle, they all can be done, but I just wanted something super simple. And so that's what this recipe is for you guys today. I am going to be using an ice cream maker to churn my ice cream. But if you didn't have that, just put it in your ice cream container like this pop it in the freezer and let it freeze, and then you're left with delicious ice cream. To get started on our ice cream recipe, you're gonna start with two cups of heavy whipping cream. So we're gonna pour that into our mixing bowl. And then for sweetness, I'm gonna be using a powdered sugar-free sweetener. You can use erythritol or monk fruit blend, allulose, whatever kind you wanna use. And it's one third cup going in there. And then we're gonna add in an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And you might think that's a weird ingredient, but I always like to add salt to my sweet or dessert style recipes because salt brings, it's a natural like sweetness enhancer. So it's just gonna bring out like a little sweetness without having to add too much sweetener. And since we are making vanilla ice cream, we gotta add some vanilla flavor. So I'm gonna use a teaspoon of vanilla extract along with a little bit of vanilla paste too. Now, if you actually had a vanilla bean, you could use that instead. Um, but I don't really wanna mess with a vanilla bean and cutting them open. So I do a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then a couple teaspoons of vanilla paste, like one or two will work. Depends on like how much of that, those little bean things that you want, you know, like those little specks of brown in uh, real vanilla ice cream. That, that's why I use the paste is to get those specks. And then our next ingredient is really what makes this like a softer ice cream, because if I was just going to freeze this right now, it gets super, super hard in the freezer. So the ingredient that we're going to use is alcohol. Now, if you are alcohol free or you're worried about giving this to your kids, then I'll have some substitutes listed down below for you guys that you guys can use. You could use liquid allulose. You could use um, chalk zero syrups that could be used in this too. It actually gives that similar effect where it gives a softer texture for your ice cream, but we're really not going to be adding that much alcohol in, and it doesn't really matter what kind you use. Just kind of want to use a neutral alcohol. A lot of recipes will call for vodka. I don't really have a lot of alcohol on hand because we're not much of a booze drinking couple, except for if it's like a dirty martini or a strawberry daiquiri. Um, I'll have one of those. So I didn't have any vodka, but I do have some white rum and that works as well. So just a, like a white neutral alcohol will work and you just need two teaspoons of it and that's it that's all of our ingredients going into this gorgeous ice cream and we're just gonna whisk it until everything's combined the whole purpose of using a powdered sweetener I should add is that it makes it easy to dissolve and combine so if you did a more of a granulated one it might be a little gritty or grainy uh, but the powdered one is nicely finely milled. If you don't have powdered sweetener, you can actually make your own by just putting it in a blender or food processor and grinding it that way until it's powdery. The next step is to cover this with plastic wrap and we're gonna refrigerate it for at least two hours. This is totally key because it really helps with all those flavors to get them to meld together. Plus it actually helps with the consistency too. So don't skip out on your chilling step. While our ice cream is chilling, I wanted to take time to thank today's sponsor, which is Keto Crisp Bars. I love these bars. They're low in carbs, low in sugar, and they are gluten-free and they are so good. They have different types of flavors. This 
one is an almond butter kind. Um, they have a almond butter and blackberry jelly flavor too that they sent me that is really good. But their website has a wide range of different flavors to meet any sort of taste preference. If you guys are interested in the Keto Crisp bars and wanna try them, I'll have a link down below on where you can get them. Once your vanilla ice cream mixture has chilled, you can remove it from the refrigerator and it's a good to start churning. So I'm gonna be using an ice cream maker, but once again, you could pour this into a container and just put it in your freezer if you are really going for just a simple, simple ice cream and don't have a churner. This is the ice cream maker that I'm using. I'll have it linked down below for you guys if you're interested. It's just an electric one and it's super simple. You do have to freeze this base ahead of time, so overnight. Um, even if you make your ice cream mixture, maybe do this the night before, put it in the fridge overnight, freeze your base so that it's ready to go. And then you assemble it. And once your ice cream maker is all assembled and ready to go, we hit the on button. And then we just pour our ice cream mixture inside and let the ice cream maker do its thing. And I always like to get, there's all of these like leftover flakes of vanilla in there. Just scrape that out because you want that in your ice cream. So this will take around 20, 25 minutes to churn to get that perfect ice cream texture. Okay, so my ice cream is done. And turn that off it has stopped turning around and it looks like it's hard enough so I'm just gonna sample it look how that's like super smooth and creamy oh man it's like a, the perfect ice cream consistency right now not overly hard it's perfect mm. it tastes so good it's so soft it's like soft serve so if you take it out you see that look at how beautiful that is Now you have an option of serving this just in a bowl with your favorite keto toppings, like some sugar-free syrups, some nuts, chocolate chips, sugar-free sprinkles. I'll have all of my favorite toppings listed down below in the description box for you guys. Or you can use cones too. There's a company that just came out with some cones. Um, I'll have them linked down below. They're not gluten-free, but they are very low in carbs. I believe it's like two net carbs per cone. Um, so if you are just craving an ice cream cone, then this recipe is for you and you gotta get those cones. Another great topping is these Keto Crisp Bars. They are the perfect chunk combination to go with your vanilla ice cream. Now I'll usually store this in a ice cream container. You can use a plastic container, glass container, whatever you want to use in the freezer. Um, when you first take it out after it's been frozen for a while, I do recommend just zapping it in the microwave just for a few seconds, just to get it nice and soft again, just because, you know, ice cream is always rock solid hard when it comes right out. And before you know it, it will be this texture again. Now it's time to scoop away. I always like to do a double scoop. There we go. How beautiful. That's so cute. This is the perfect summertime treat to be able to enjoy some keto ice cream along with the rest of your friends and family and not be tempted to cheat.